and it is the first day of Start With Hello Week. And today, for the second day of Hello Week, the kids are going to write inspirational post-its because today is Positivity Tuesday. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, September 24th, 2018, and it is the first day of Start With Hello Week. I am going to present to them different activities that I have planned for each day of this week. One of them has pretty much been already planned for us by the school, which is on Wednesday. The students are gonna be encouraged to wear a green shirt. Today, because it's the start of Hello Week, I'm going to introduce them to it and also I'm going to give them little hello my name is name tags so that I can put their names on it they can wear them all day and they're going to be challenged to say hello to at least one person they don't know today so that is what they're going to be doing probably they'll be able to do that during art or doing lunchtime when they see other students so or even after school so i'm very excited for all the activities that we're going to be doing this week in order to spread kindness and inclusivity if you do not know what start with hello week is i'll leave a link down below it is part of the sandy hook promise to spread kindness and include everyone. All right, so I'm actually getting ready to write up a short little bio because right now we're on Hispanic Heritage Month and they ask staff members who are of Hispanic background to talk a little bit about who they are and share some information about themselves for like a short one minute presentation over the announcements. So one of the Spanish teachers will be watching my class while the other one goes with me to the office so that I can make my announcement. Now I completely forgot that I was gonna do that this morning. So I'm going to write it up right now really quick in both English and Spanish because I have to say it in both languages. So let's see how I can describe a little bit about myself in about a minute. So I'm gonna work on that and of course I'll share it with you later on. But first of all, I wanted to share the stickers that I was talking about with the hello. These are the stickers and I got these in Target during back to school. They were just a dollar and they bring 96 stickers and these are actually the colors. So it's just different sheets with these four colors. So I'm going to actually write each of my students' names on them with a Sharpie, just their first name, so that other people know their name and they can be encouraged to say hello to them. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I also need to put under desk their daily language arts warm up for this morning. All right, so let's get started. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing. Yesterday was my one year YouTube anniversary. So congratulations to me. I can't believe it's been one year since I uploaded my very first video. And I would like to do a reaction to my first video. I don't know if I can get that filmed this week, but I would love to do that. I like a react to my first video ever on YouTube. All I can tell you is that I was very nervous and I didn't think it was my best video because it was my first one. So, but one of my friends told me, hey, you gotta start somewhere. So I'm glad that they gave me that push and that I started and now 177 videos later, this one will be 178 unless I upload any other videos before this one. Here I am with over 1,800 subscribers. I would have never thought that I would be here a year ago or over a year ago. And here I am. So thank you so much for following me, for being part of my family. I appreciate you so much. And thank you for going along on this journey of mine. All right, so let me get ready for the day and I'll catch up with you later. All right, everyone, it is the end of the day and boy, it's been a very long day. So after I left you this morning, I started introducing the students to start with Hello Week. And as I was doing that, I had visitors from the National Center for Research on Gifted Education. They're gonna be here all week observing my class and interviewing me about my teaching of the gifted learner. 
here. So it's very exciting, but it was a little bit hectic because they came in while I was doing that and it was supposed to be my reading time, but I needed to introduce the kids to start with Holo Week and give them their name stickers, which I'm sure you can see mine right here. I had to stick it on my skin because it wasn't staying on my blouse, but whatever. So the kids got their name stickers and they were challenged to start with hello and say hello to someone they don't know. And I made a connection to the stories that we were reading last week for Wonders Unit 1 Week 2, which was the talent show, Experts Incorporated, and Speaking Out to Stop Bullying, which went ahead and connected to the Start with Hello week. And also, we started reading in our junior grade books Tuesday of the other June, which is a story about a girl that is bullied severely and how she handles that bullying situation. So I love how it all connected and it was really awesome. So I do have to say one thing though, my students were a little wonky with their behavior. I was like, why are they behaving like this? You know, usually when students see a visitor or a guest in the classroom, they're very well behaved on the most part from what I've noticed in my previous years. But this time around, they were wonky. They were like, why are they acting this way? But it's okay. I redirected their behaviors and I did talk to them and I said, hey guys, you know, it's all about first impressions and you have to be on your best behavior and I know you could do better than this. So they were better in the afternoon when our visitor came back during our math time to observe math. And during math, we worked in our interactive notebooks and then they practiced a problem in groups, which was great because they were able to collaborate and talk about the problem together so that was wonderful and then we had science which I was excited about because we haven't done science in a while so we went ahead and added things to our notebooks which I'll show you in a little bit but first I have to go to a girls on the run meeting I know it's been crazy oh and the Hispanic heritage announcement that I had to make it wasn't this morning it was this afternoon so someone covered my class while I went downstairs and I read a little bit about myself in English and then I translated it into Spanish. And I have to say, I was so nervous. I felt my face getting all red and hot. So I knew it was getting red even though I wasn't looking at myself because I felt the heat on my cheeks. And that's usually what happens when I get nervous and I have to be like in front of a lot of people or speak. In this case, they're not looking at me, but my whole voice is all around the school. So I was a little nervous about that, but it was great. Everybody said I did a great job. So I'll catch up with you more after my girls in the run meeting because I am going to be a coach this year and I'm very excited. So I'll see you later. All right, so I'm back. The meeting actually didn't end up being that long for girls on the run because we were waiting for the director, but she actually let us know that she would not be able to make it. So we pretty much had a logistic meeting because we're gonna start tomorrow. And this year we're not just doing girls in the run, we're doing girls on track. And I have participated in girls in the run before about four years ago when I was a running buddy for one of my students. And I thought, you know, I wanna get back into a healthy lifestyle and working out more consistently. So I thought it would be a good idea for me to join girls on the run this year, especially since they sent out an email saying that they really, really needed coaches and they needed people to volunteer. So. I raised my hand and I said, me. So we are going to start meeting tomorrow and it's gonna be every Tuesday and Thursday from 3.15 all the way to 4.30. And this time we're actually gonna go across the street to the racetrack. So we're gonna be there. And it's a really great program that helps girls boost up their self-esteem and how they feel about themselves and see about themselves is all about positivity and girl power, which is awesome. And along with the curriculum that we do instruct every day, we're going to be running a mile every day that we meet. So that is great. All right. So let me actually share with you some of the things that, and that's my phone. Hold on a moment. All right. And I'm back again. That was just my friend, my other fourth grade friend who also teaches gifted. She was going over a couple things with me, but now where I left off was I was going to show you some of the things that we did today. So let me go ahead and do that. And yes, I was totally sitting on my student's desk because why not? It's fun. All right. So let me show you this now. First and foremost, this is our junior grade books. This is the teacher edition, the leader's edition. And this is a story that we're currently reading Tuesday of the other June by Norma Fox Mazur. And each story has like one illustration and then everything else is just paragraphs and sentences and things like that. And we do practice annotations. So tomorrow they're going to reread the story on their own and they're going to annotate wherever they have questions so they're practicing the questioning strategy 
And at the end of that, they're going to create a keeper question. So yeah, basically over here, after they share their questions, as you can see here, sharing questions, they are going to make a list of the questions and then they're gonna choose a keeper question to record on their sheet, which I made copies for. So this was a really good story. I did the read aloud. Basically the way you do this is the teacher does the read aloud first, the students listen, and then during the second reading, which is a close reading, they'll start taking annotations. So they will be taking annotations for questions they have and they'll put an exclamation mark every time the character does or says something surprising. So this was a really, really great story about a girl that is bullied and the children really, really loved it. So that's our junior grade books. There's a whole lot of awesome literature collected inside of this curriculum. And just to show you some of the ones that we do. So stage one is, thank you, ma'am, the gold coin to the other, other June, which is beginning interpretation and then seeing alternatives is Prot and Crot and all these other ones. And then there's a second volume to this as well. You know, Thank You Ma'am is by Langston Hughes and the gold coin is actually by, let me show you right now, because it's a really, all these stories are really good. Alma Flor Aida. So a lot of amazing literature jam-packed into this curriculum and I absolutely love it. And this is how it runs. So session one, then session two, session three, Four is the inquiry discussion where we sit in a circle. I pose a question to them and they'll discuss it amongst themselves. I'm not allowed to give any input on the question. I only take notes and make sure that everyone is participating. And then of course, after that, they take it to writing. So it's a really, really great curriculum. And this is part of our enrichment for our gifted reading curriculum. All right, so yeah, that's what we did for reading. And then I went ahead and I introduced them to unit three of vocabulary workshop. And this one actually ended up having a fable that we were able to talk about and discuss, which is great because it goes along with the standards that we've been going over since the beginning of the school year, which is elements of story structure. So this is the story right here, unit three, the goat herder and the wild goats, which is an Aesop fable. And they were introduced to their words, which are highlighted and in bold. And then they got their packet that includes these pages, which is a study guide. They're matched the meaning, synonyms and antonyms and they're completing the sentence. Along with that, they'll also get the link again. I remind them every week that they have vocabulary, they can use the link to use the interactive games and the practice quizzes on there so that when they take the quiz on Friday, they'll do the best job they can and they have all those activities to help them review those 12 words. All right, so that was reading and language arts. And then we went to lunch and then we had math. Now during math, I'm gonna show you what we added to our math notebooks. So here's a math notebook, and let me just move to where we were. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. We were right here. We added this new standard, OA 1.2, multiplying, not dividing, because that's chapter four, we're in chapter two right now, multiplying to solve word problems involving multiplicative comparisons by using drawings and equations with a symbol for the unknown number, which is variable, which they already took that note over here. And so we added that standard. We took some notes, which was the problem that was in our textbook. So that's what it was. And then they have to like make the model. So this is the box model, Oksana's dog and Evan's dog all together weigh 72 pounds. So how many parts, equal parts do I have here? So they can see that it is actually eight equal parts times some number equals 72 so n is 9 but they're not done because the question is how much does evan's dog weigh so they have to multiply 9 times 7 which is 63. so then i took this from rebecca rojas again from create teach share and whoa okay there we go <laughs> and the way she does it is this is a simplified way which just shows the simple equation but i need them to also practice in this way that the book shows them so i had them practice a problem together in groups, which was this problem right here. So they were instructed to, as a group, come up with a solution. I gave them a couple minutes to do that. Once I saw that almost everybody was done coming up with a solution, which took them about five minutes or so, 
I had a representative from one of the teams come to the whiteboard and present their answer. So she drew the model, she explained how she got the numbers, and she went step by step. It was beautiful. And we had the person from the National Center for Research on Gifted Education here taking notes on our math lesson. So that's what we did for math, and then we jumped into science. So check out what we did for science. I'm so glad we finally got to science. Here we go. We went ahead and did these two column notes on rotation versus revolution. I got this idea from Pinterest. I just saw a post and I just recreated it actually. Here is the post right here. So it's pretty similar to that. And the students made this so that they know what the rotation is, how long it takes, what it causes, and the same thing with revolution. What it is, how long it takes, and what it causes. And then we, oh, this is not taped in. I got to tape it in. We inserted this standard, which is a standard that goes along with this. And then it was time for me to go downstairs to get on the announcements and share my mini bio, which I'll share with you right now. I just totally bumped into that desk. All right, so I'm going to read to you what I wrote. And basically, I wrote it in both English and Spanish. So maybe I'll read it in both. Hopefully, it won't take that long. But basically, I said this. So good afternoon. My name is Marily Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher. I was born in Puerto Rico, whose capital is San Juan, and it's known for its beautiful beaches, El Yunque tropical rainforest, and the sounds of the little cookie frog. Delicious dishes like rice with pigeon peas, roast pork, and pasteles are some of Puerto Rico's most famous meals, especially during celebrations. When I was 10 years old, I moved to Florida with my family. While in high school, I had an internship with our school board member's office thanks to Aspira, and after graduating high school, I was selected by Aspira for a national internship in Washington, D.C. for five weeks, where I collaborated with other students from around the nation and participated in various community service projects. In 2011, I was elected as one of the school's Teacher of the Years, and it was a great honor. Currently, I am pursuing a doctorate in curriculum and instruction, where I hope to continue to help and inspire both teachers and students everywhere. Thank you. And here is a Spanish version for all my Spanish speakers out there. You get to hear me speak in Spanish. So here we go. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Marieli Sánchez y soy una de las maestras de cuarto grado. Yo nací en Puerto Rico, cuya capital es San Juan, y es bien conocido por sus hermosas playas, el bosque lluvioso llamado El Yunque y la canción de la pequeña ranita llamada Coquín. Platos deliciosos como arroz con gandules, lechón asado y pasteles son parte de los platos más famosos de Puerto Rico, especialmente durante celebraciones. Cuando tenía 10 años, me mudé a la Florida con mi familia. Mientras estaba en la escuela secundaria, participé en un internado con la oficina de los miembros del consejo escolar de nuestro condado gracias a la organización de Aspira. Cuando me gradué de la secundaria, fui seleccionada por Aspira para participar en un internado nacional en Washington, D.C. por cinco semanas donde colaboré con otros estudiantes de alrededor de la nación y participé en varios proyectos comunitarios. En el 2011 fui elegida como una de nuestras maestras del año y fue un gran honor. Presentemente estoy en el proceso de adquirir mi doctorado en currículo e instrucción con el cual espero continuar ayudando a maestros y estudiantes en todas partes. Gracias. So that's basically it. And Aspira is an organization for minorities and Hispanics. And it's not just Hispanics. There's other minorities included in there. But they gave me so many opportunities when I was in high school. I was president of my Aspira club when I was at my high school. And they gave me this opportunity for this internship with my own county. And then, of course, I won the national internship in Washington, D.C., which was an amazing experience. So thank you, Aspira. I know they are still out there helping our communities and encouraging minority students to take leadership roles. So that is a really big thing that I'm passionate about as well. All right, so that pretty much in a nutshell is my day. And I'm a very tired person. And my son, again, is waiting very patiently. But right now is actually almost 4.15. So I'm not leaving totally, totally late. But we're going home right now, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So welcome to Tuesday, September 25th, 2018. Today is one of my students' birthdays. Now, what I usually do for birthdays is pretty much give them a pencil, I think a bookmark, and a sticker of some sorts. I forgot what I gave to the first person that had a birthday. 
I'm sorry. I need to write it down because I forgot what I gave to the first two people that had birthdays this year. But I know that some other people do like a birthday cup. Like I know that Michelle Ferre does that. And Jennifer from Genuine Teaching also does that. But I just had to use what I had in hand and I didn't really want to make a purchase right now. But I think the kids actually appreciate the birthday pencil, the bookmark, and I think it was a sticker. I forgot what kind of sticker it was. So I'm going to have to ask the girls that had birthdays earlier this year what it was and I need to write it down so I don't forget again so I will give that to the student today it's also going to be another long day I have some visitors from the National Center for Research on Gifted Education coming back today and probably also tomorrow one of those days they're going to sit down and interview me so they're gonna get a schedule put together to do that and then after school i have my first girls on the run meeting we're not running today so i didn't bring my fitness clothes with me to change into that will be on thursday but we have our first meeting and then after that i'm going to the university because i am sitting in on a second dissertation seminar course i took mine almost two years ago and my dissertation chair thought it was a good idea if i would sit in into another dissertation seminar class to kind of help me reboot and get started back on my dissertation journey which i'll talk about in the future but yes so it's gonna be a very long day i'm not gonna get home till past nine so yeah i can't wait to take you along today and what i do with the students and maybe i'll show you some glimpses of me going to school or whatnot i'm not sure this is gonna be another two-day vlog that i'll post on wednesday but there was something that i forgot to show you yesterday as far as what we ended up doing. So during math, I actually started by giving the students a math problems of the day half sheet that I pretty much probably showed you before, but this is the one they worked on yesterday. This is the half sheet right here, and I've been collecting these as I make them, but again, we're still reviewing comparative relational thinking, and the one that I'm gonna give them today, I'm gonna put the variable on the left side of the equal sign so that they can see what they do, and I'm gonna make sure that this is a false statement to see if they can figure it out doing the comparative relational thinking. Another thing that I did is that I took my math review log from One Stop Teacher Shop, and I love how she includes the editable ones where you can actually edit what are the problems the students are working on that day. So I'm gonna show you what this week's math review log looked like and how I modified it to fit where my students are in math currently. So we are currently in quarter one, week six. So this is her quarter one, week six log. And as you can see, it starts by going over all the place value concepts that we learned in the first chapter. And then it goes over what we're going over right now. But this is where I had to modify it. She goes into division. We're not doing division until chapter four. We're not gonna get to chapter four until the second grading period. So what I decided to do was come into these cells and edit them with problems that we're currently working on. So let me now show you how I modified those two rows in my students' math review log for this week. So this is it. So as you can see, I added a whole row with comparison statements of multiplication. So here they have the model, they have the statement, and they have to write the equation. The same thing here. And here they have to actually draw the model and write the equation. So hopefully these two examples can help them know what kind of model to draw here. And then here they have to actually write the comparison sentence for the equation. Then I have them review the area model, the partial product strategy, and the lattice squares. So that is their homework for this week. And as you can see, it just reviews the skills that we've gone over before in chapter one, the skills that we're currently doing in chapter two, and it introduces them to future skills for chapter three. Chapter three is very similar to chapter two. The only difference is in chapter two, we're multiplying one digit by a two, three, or four digit number. And in chapter three, we're multiplying a two digit number by a two digit number or a three digit number. So at least they can transfer some of the skills that they're learning in chapter two to apply to chapter three. So that's where we are right now. And I'm going to get a couple of things settled for the kids. They have to finish their reading test. I'll have them finish it this morning after they do their warm up. 
and that way I can get them to finish that. And today, for the second day of Hello Week, the kids are going to write inspirational post-its because today is Positivity Tuesday. So I was thinking of giving them one, but now I'm gonna give them two post-its each, and they can take a Sharpie and write a nice little inspirational message that we're gonna put on our door. And I'll make a little sign a simple sign so that I can put on the door, spreading positivity, take what you need, and something to that effect. I'll show you once it is done. Our specials today is PE, and that is not until after lunch. The only day we have specials in the morning is on Mondays. Every other day is right after lunch, and on Wednesdays we don't have specials. All right, so let me get something settled because, let me see. Oh, I still have good time. The kids are not coming in until about another 20 minutes. All right, so I'll, Check back with you as the day goes on, and I'll see you later. And really quickly, I wanted to say that yesterday I introduced the kids to the calendar for the week, and they know that today was going to be Positivity Tuesday, and one of my students wrote this. So you will spread positivity to others, and he drew a rainbow and put yay. How cute is that? Thank you so much. So now the students are in PE and actually it's past my lunch time. I still have my lunch with me. What happened was that when I went into the teacher's lounge to warm up my lunch, I, wait a second, because there's students coming. <laughs> I actually ended up seeing one of my friends. So shout out to Shanyel Tumbling. So I saw her and we had a great time catching up. So now the students are in PE and we're here in our vegetable garden. And I want to show you our bed, which needs to be cleaned up. So we do have a garden bed that we get to plant vegetables in and do a whole bunch of science and math and writing activities. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is our overgrown vegetable garden. It has this tomato trellis on it. It had this sunflower in it at one point, which was not mine, but it's already dried up and dead. But I inherited this garden bed this year and this is oregano and it's completely overgrown. So we actually have to pull all of this out and when I do, I'll send out an email to let people know if they want oregano. And yeah, then we can get the soil ready and plant our little vegetables and do a whole little activity with it. So our school is part of the garden program and it is a really great program to participate in. Another thing that I want to show you is actually in the cafeteria. As you saw in the previous clips, the students did the door of positivity. Today is Positivity Tuesday, which is part of Hello Week. So the students created positive post-its and we put them on our classroom door, as you saw. But when we went to the cafeteria, there's a whole wall of positivity on there that people have already started putting notes in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that and maybe take a note for myself. So let's go and see that now. All right, so it's almost the end of the day and the students are wrapping up a reading activity that we did with Tuesday or the other June, but two of my students were selected to read their post-its that they wrote from today's Positivity Tuesday. So once they come on to the announcements, 
I'll be sure to record it so you can hear them read their positive messages. So can't wait to do that. Positivity Tuesday, and we have two students here that are going to leave you with the day, leave you with a positive note for the day. Okay, here they are. They're going to say their names and their positive note. Hello. My name is Leo, and my positive note is no matter how far you get brought down, you can still get up. Hello, my name is Aiden. My positive note is let your kindness shine down onto others. Good job! So now it's the end of the day. The students were just dismissed and a couple of more kids took their notes from the door. So they were very excited about that. So right now I'm actually heading down to my first girls in the run meeting with the girls. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'll catch up with you after that because this, again, like I mentioned earlier, it's a long day. So I have that meeting until 430 and then I have to go to the university from 6 to 9 p.m. All right, so let's do this and I'll catch up with you later. so girls in the run is done all the girls got picked up it has been a long day and it's not over yet so like I was saying earlier I went to lunch but I was catching up with one of my friends that happened to be at the teachers lounge and then I was coming back up to my room so that I can eat my lunch but one of the researchers from the National Center for Research on Gifted Education needed to interview me and that was pretty much the only time that she had to interview me was during my planning time. So I was being interviewed while I ate, which she was okay with, and I was so thankful for that. I still have to finish my food, which is still over here. Yep, there's my food, still need to finish it. And yeah, I'm going to eat that really fast because it's already 5.33 and I need to head on over to the university for this evening's class. So my day's not even done yet. I don't know if I showed you already, but I wanted to show you the little post-it that I picked up from the wall of positivity that was in the cafeteria. So this is a little bit in Spanish and then English. So it says, te amo, which is I love you. You are loved no matter what. And it was signed by someone. I don't recognize the signature, but the, how cute is that? Thank you. And I'm going to keep this by my desk. It's a nice little positive reminder. And then the kids, like I said, they saw some people taking their notes and they were so excited about it. They kept adding notes as the day went by. So we have the door of positivity as well. And as you saw, we continue to read Tuesday of the other June. They had to do their second read and they completed an annotation activity plus a questioning activity. Let me see if I find my paper so I can show you mine. So they were doing the second read of Tuesday of the other June. And for the second read, I actually put the audiobook version of the story so they can listen to it and complete the annotations. These are the annotations that they needed to complete. So as you can see, in this side, they had to write five questions that they have about different things in the story. It could be things that they don't understand or when a character says or does something or maybe they have a question about why something happens the way that it does or maybe they have a question on a word phrase or sentence and what it means then on the other side they have to do an exclamation mark which is places where the character says or does something surprising so this is my model obviously i have the students papers and then i have them do the asking question strategy with this where they read three different passages from the story so the here's passage one Here's passage two and passage three, and they had to write a question about that passage. So it's right here, and this again comes from Junior Grade Books. This is part of the Junior Grade Books curriculum. So what I did after that is I gave each team a color marker for the color of the team that they belong to, and then I had them come to one of these big post-it note chart paper things that I have on my board and on the door over here, which you'll see, I kind of show you a glimpse of the students writing either their questions or their surprising statements. So I wanted them to kind of have a collection so that we can go over it tomorrow before we have our shared inquiry discussion. So this is the one of questions that they had, like what happened to June's dad? Why would June let the other June not her braids and things like that? Because these are different things that happen in the story. So these are questions that they have about what they noticed in the story. 
Then over here, they started writing different statements that they found surprising, like the fact that the bad June never got in trouble and things like that. So I can see right off the bat, if I have four purple, that means that everybody in the purple team was able to share what they thought was surprising. If I see three orange, because today we had three members in the orange team, one was absent, I can see that they all participated. Same thing for green and for blue. So I can see from here that I have three people in blue shared. So I told them that if they didn't have anything to add that other people hadn't added, they could go ahead and put a check mark next to the statement that they agreed with. So she agreed with this as well, so she put a check mark. So I can see that everybody in the class participated by the number of colored markers that I see on the chart. And the same thing goes to the ones with the questions, so I can see if everybody participated. And I love this activity because it allowed the students to get out of their seats, walk around the classroom, share the information that they have been reading by themselves or their questions, and that way we can go question by question Question. and if there are questions that we can answer as a class we can do that or if there's keeper questions which are questions that can have more than one answer those are questions that we can ponder too so that's basically what we did we did not have time and I'm just being real people we did not have time for math science or social studies so tomorrow I am doing an upside down day I am starting with math then we're going to science and then we're doing social studies and we're ending the day with reading. So hopefully it will be all done so that we can get to every subject. All right, so I think I talked for enough already. I'm going to end the vlog here. This will be a two-day vlog, which will hopefully go up tomorrow, Wednesday, and you get to see it. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Oh, and I forgot to say, you saw a couple of glimpses of Girls in the Run, and they created their name little adjective tags, so they needed to choose an adjective that started with the letter of their first name, and then we went around sharing that, and then the girls paired up, and they introduced each other, and they tried to find out what they had in common and then they created a celebration which could have been a special handshake or a cheer or something to just celebrate the fact that they got to know each other introduce each other etc we did not do the mile today we will do that on thursday so on thursday i will come with my workout clothes so that i can actually run the mile with the girls and it was nice because a lot of them were so excited when i walked in they cheered i'm like yay miss sanchez is here a lot of them are my fourth graders from last year they some of them actually joined because they knew i was going to be a coach this year so that's really amazing i feel just honored and so loved and appreciated by them and i appreciate them too so they're just amazing kids and i'm just a lucky lucky teacher all right so that's all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you thought or any questions you may have also if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos i hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile i'll see you next time